Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara and today I'm going to be talking about the coronavirus. And coronavirus is affecting my life as my life as a teenager. So basically, as the title says, coronavirus through the eyes of a teenager. That's what we're talking about today. So you know, let's just get started because we might not have much time left to watch this video. <laughs> okay, that wasn't really funny because it's a real thing, but like, let's go. Okay, so basically everybody at this point, I feel like knows what the coronavirus. If you don't, you definitely live under a rock. I don't know where you live, but you live under a rock. The coronavirus started in China with like bat soup and it's now like all over the world and like almost everywhere and lots of people have been infected by it. However, I will say there are other things that are killing more people like more quickly every day, every week and things, but this one is growing steadily and we, you know, it's new and we want to get rid of it. Sorry, that was a lot of hand movements, but you know. Renegade. <laughs> I actually don't know the whole renegade thing. That's like the only part I know. So anyway, in the state I live in, all the schools have been canceled or closed. Restaurants have been closed except for like dine out or like carry out and drive through. So you can't like sit at the restaurants anymore. Gatherings, it was like 250 is not allowed. And now it's like only up to like 50 people gathering together or something and recommended of like 10. They're really trying to keep us from each other. I, cause this stuff's a spread of the virus, but like at the same time, I, I don't know. It's just really disappointing when things get canceled, especially I am a senior in high school. I am homeschooled, so I'm not actually missing an actual school and I wasn't going to have like an actual like podium graduation thing which still might happen for some people, but might not happen for some others. But like, things are still getting canceled and it's still affecting me and I'm still sad about it because this is my last year of high school and I don't get the opportunity to have some of these things next year. Like, I don't even know where I'm gonna be living next year at this point. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to do some of these things, or like most of these things, which is not like a lot compared to some people. and. Some people are actually sick and are able to do things or dying or family members are dying. But like, that doesn't unvalidate me and my sadness and my feelings about it, I guess. Like, those are still valid. Okay, sorry, I don't know exactly where I cut off, um, but I was talking and then I got a phone FaceTime call from my, my youth pastor and had to answer that because we're trying to figure out things for our youth group to do during this corona time. So technically it was related to the video, but let's just keep going. I was talking somewhat about like how it's affecting the world and me and oh my state, that's what it was. So um, I work at a daycare, but that's still open, which is kind of surprising that it's still open because like it's connected to our church and like everything else that's a part of our church is canceled but like the daycare is still open so like, i don't know i guess we're trying to help parents who still have to work and can't take care of the kids so we take care of the kids but like at the same time it's not the best place to be during like a coronavirus kind of thing i would i would yeah i wouldn't say it's the best place to there are some good parts definitely though about the coronavirus and just not only okay, not about the virus itself but about the effects of the coronavirus like in the world in my life i've had less things to do like this weekend less things um my evenings are freer so it's just kind of giving me like more of a productive lifestyle at least like the past four ish days five days yeah like five days um i've got a lot more things done i've like made food I've worked on like videos, editing like three videos, uploading one, um, preparing for this one, and um, reading more books, playing games with my sister, with my neighbors, going outside. Uh, oh, one thing that I've been doing, it not been doing actually, I only just did this on Sunday afternoon, but I got my old skateboard out that I got when I was like, I don't know, eight or ten, something like that, from our neighbor? Anyway, the skateboard, and I've never actually, like, 
worked on it a lot and like gotten skill on the skateboard so now i was like i got time the sun's coming out it's getting warmer so like let's do it so i was probably seeing my skateboarding skills and like i'm not very good but i got better with the time and it was fun and it was like a good oh, oh i don't know thing to do so i'll keep working on that during my corona nothing to do time i've also been able to have more family time because my brother's been working at home or one of my brothers and just evenings are more free because the past couple weeks for me i've been like really busy like i've had something like on every night or almost every night so it's just been nice to kind of like chill at home and do things with the family or just like do my own things read go to bed earlier be productive do like a craft do something artsy do finish my schoolwork if I didn't finish it earlier that day because I had to work in the afternoon, you know, things like that. Yesterday, last night, got home and work at, got done and work at five, drove home, had my own time, like phone time, ate dinner, and then did my homework. Well, played with a friend and neighbor. Like, get, did a game, and then did homework. So, that was basically my evening. <sighs> now, however, there are good parts, and there are still bad parts. Let's talk about the bad parts, shall we? Let me think. Things that I'm so excited for getting canceled that I don't get to do again. Like I kind of started saying earlier about me being a senior in high school. Last year of high school. After this, you become like an adult and you don't get to do the same thing. I go to this youth retreat four times a year. I missed two last year and I missed two my freshman year of high school. And those are both in a row, so, like, you miss out on a lot because, like, there's new people and new, like, things change. And you weren't there for those memories that were most recent. And I was just at the winter one, and this is the spring one. And I can't go to the summer one because I'm going to be a cabin leader at camp. So I had the fall one left. And now the spring one is canceled. Like, can not even postpone it? Like, I'm like, can we postpone it to May, please? But no, they just canceled it, and it, it just, I'm really sad about it, because, like, this is, I only have one more after this, so I'm losing opportunities of what, like, team, because we have different teams that do things during the weekend for this retreat, what team I can do on, things, um, ways to spend time with, like, my friends on the specific team, like, my best friend was going to be a leader of a team, and I was so excited for that, but now it's not happening, and it's really, really disappointing, so... Yeah, that was the weekend before my spring break. And then, spring break, it's supposed to be going on a missions trip to, like, just, it's a city a couple hours away from me. Um, but I was supposed to do, like, spring break, high school missions trip with my youth group in my church. But that is technically not canceled yet, but with the way that things are, like, going, it will most likely be canceled. Which is also really sad, because I can't necessarily, like, I, if I was like an intern or something, or a leader, I might be able to go on a trip in the future, but it won't be that same trip. They're gonna change it to a different trip. And me and my best friend, we're both going to go on this trip together. And it's gonna be really fun. And I was really excited for it. And now it's not even happening and I'm bummed. Well, okay, it might happen, but it probably won't happen because Corona is making everything closed. Also, I'm sad that church is closed like in general because Technically, the church I go to is smaller, but because we're connected to a higher church and what they have to say, we are below the, or we were at least below the numbers of, like, groups of people things. Like, so, like, we could have had it, but we didn't. But we just, like, staff went to the church and, like, set it, set everything up. And then we filmed it and live streamed it on Facebook so that people could still watch from their house and things. So that was nice. But, like, I miss seeing the people. You're like, I might not talk to you, but... I miss like the community of the church and like youth group is canceled for Wednesday night so like nothing for youth group except we're trying to figure out some things to do like facetiming things not actual youth group and games and hanging out with each other which is really good and has been going pretty nicely lately and I've really been enjoying yeah so anyway that is my view of the coronavirus my opinions kind of I don't know my story <laughs> story 
whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the coronavirus through my eyes as a teenager. It's kind of a bummer. I know it can be, it's definitely worse for some people, but like, we're all disappointed in ways and sad in ways, and we, that is valid, totally valid, because it still hurts. It still says to be but I hope this was maybe a little insightful for you. Maybe you're not a teenager anymore, so you're like, no, we're the kids thinking. Or you're like, you're younger, or you are this age, and you just want to see someone else's opinion. So I hope this was maybe helpful or insightful. And just want to let you know that I am praying for you guys, praying for everyone as we are dealing with this whole coronavirus situation and how it's affecting us in our health and just in like our world society and the way that things were going and are changing i hope you have a great day and i hope you enjoyed this video feel free to like subscribe comment because i love reading you guys' comments it makes me i don't know i just really enjoy commenting back and like seeing what you have to say so definitely feel free to do that and i will see you guys in my next video which will be coming out soon so be looking for that all right all right bye